Stadium in downtown Minneapolis. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Los Angeles Chargers and the Minnesota Vikings. The kick unit on here for the Chargers as they will send this one away. A fairly short kick from the 14. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. The Vikings take over first and 10 at their own 31 yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. and a flag down and I believe we'll start the night with a first and 15. A false start backs him up five first and 15. First play here's Cousins and the Chargers rush is gonna get there down he goes. The start less than ideal as they already face a second and long. Another try after the first down sack. Cousins, though, going for Jefferson downfield. And that's caught inside the 35. Touchdown, Vikings. Well, if they didn't have to make that call before the game, they got it right now. Two plays already in the end zone. I think of it in boxing terms because whether it's a big shot with your first one or a probing one, a little bit of a jab, the second one was the payoff. That was the big one that landed. One, two, end zone. And now a whistle and a timeout called by the kicking team. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. DeAndre Carter now from his end zone. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10 at their own 27. They started on the ground with Eckler. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. A big hole there. How about him handling the point of attack? Just positioning himself so that, that run could go right off of his backside and deep into the secondary. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage, it'll be back at the 36. A completion, yes, but certainly not what they wanted. A loss of a full six yards. Well, that wasn't exactly a thing of beauty. I know they completed the pass, but look at the yardage lost. I mean, who does that make happy? That's why I don't play in PPR points per reception fantasy <laughs> leagues right there. <laughs> You'd be you really don't deserve upset, anything right? for that. But you get credit for it? Is yeah. that how that works? Yeah. Well, I know whoever has this team's defense, they were happy about that play. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Justin Herbert looking to pass. That's caught by his tight end, Gerald Everett. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. They get 15, but they still need it a little bit more. Fourth down. There's another example where defensive coaches constantly preach, not allowing any run after the catch. They give up a few more yards than they wanted to, but they were able to get him down quickly and force a fourth down. 
And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. A solid pickup of five and a very solid fourth down conversion. And defensively, pure frustration. So this drive going to continue following the conversion on fourth. Here's first and ten. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Give him 15 yards on that one and a charger first down. Herbert now. He's got his man. That's Everett, the tight end. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. 23 yards, the final tally. So they gave up the early touchdown. This has been a pretty good response. Nice drive, taking it down first and goal. And I know all the cliches jump in, right? Don't get away from your game plan too early. Make sure you're settled down. Don't... And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. Austin Eckler, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Chargers are an extra point away from capturing the lead. Extra point splits the uprights. And they take the lead here at 7 to 6. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. A couple of quick incompletions, and now they're just one more away from getting off the field. They've got options now. Could they dial up a blitz here or just drop everyone into coverage to crowd the throwing lanes? And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by J.C. Jackson. And the Chargers are going to take possession of the football. Partner, I think this one went awry very simply because he overestimated his arm strength and his ability to fit it anywhere he wants to. A lot of quarterbacks do that and often pay the price. Now a throw right side taken in here to start this drive. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Let's go. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And he goes backwards here, losing yardage back to the 16. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. On second and 12, Herbert. And this will be caught in the end zone for a Chargers touchdown. Gerald Everett, a 16-yard touchdown as his guys are able to extend their lead. Now they'll line up to kick the extra point. And it's up. It's good. Our score, 14-6. After one, 14-6 our score on EA Sports. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular. If they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little more momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe 
maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Third down, here's a run by Cook. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. They get 14 there. First down, Vikings. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it. And here, why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. Play action now, Cousins. And that's complete to K.J. Osborne. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one two combination. Look pretty good. How about that? Let's see if they let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch though. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 41 yards rushing for him now in his first two carries of the ball game. That outside handoff to the left, that play has to warm the heart of an offensive line coach because they controlled the left side where they were supposed to. They didn't allow anything to leak from the back side on the right side of the offensive line either. Well played. Yeah, they created a big run. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, this is a half for not just the coverage, but the entire defense is setting the tone in this game. On second down, Cook. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Count me as a little bit surprised by what we just saw there because this has been a pretty long drive, and normally you think that wears down a defense. In this case, it looked like the offensive line let him down a little bit. Now yeah, allowed the penetration and the ability to stuff him for a loss. And they'll lose yardage here. Knocked back to the 19-yard line. Lucky 48. Leave it, up, 48. Hey, Steamer, Steamer. Cousins to throw for it on fours. Eluding the pressure right. And incomplete on the deep ball. The Vikings unable to convert here on fourth. And the Charger defense stands tall and they get the football back. So the defense has to stay out and get one more stop. They were able to do it, forcing the incompletion. So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. It doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. And the Vikings are going to take possession of the football. 153 remaining in this first half of play. Following the interception, Cousins. And his throw is incomplete. That's tremendous field position that they were given following the turnover, but they've still got work to do to get the field goal range, and the coverage we're seeing isn't going to make it easy. To throw again on second down, Cousins. Open here, Adam Thielen. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. First down, here's the run with Cook. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Uh, the Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Cousins now. Open man, he's got him to tight end Hawkinson. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide it. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. Back to the ground, Cook. 
And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Now play number seven of the drive as they're looking at a third and 10. Again, it's Cook. And he will score. Touchdown, Vikings. Delvin Cook as the first half is winding down. And the Vikings are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Kevin O'Connell choosing to leave his guys out there. and They'll go for two. Cousins will try and throw. That's caught at the two. And he will get into the end zone again. And he seems to have a nose for it as he gets both the touchdown and the two-point conversion. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. From his end zone, here comes Carter. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The Charger drive about to get going. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it. And we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball. Just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. On first down, Justin Herbert. Going deep here for Allen. And this is caught. Touchdown, L.A. Keenan Allen in the final seconds of the first half. And the Chargers have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead is now 21-14. Chargers 21, Vikings 14. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. Taken at the 15, a short kick. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Vikings 14. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. So the Chargers will start the second half with the lead and the football as we're underway in the third quarter. And this one travels out of bounds. So unsuccessful there on the onside kick try. Now a give running left is Eckler. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive lineman creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. Eckler going to get it again on second down. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and 10. Eckler, they run left side. And he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. So third down, they need to get to the 28 for a first. Herbert steps away. And he 
he's got Rome. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Back to throw here, Herbert. Flush to his right. And this throw will be intercepted. Picked off by Harrison Smith. And the Vikings are going to have it here at their own 32-yard line. So this offense moving the ball well, trying to open up a two-score lead here in the third quarter. But now, potentially, they can have big ramifications. Yeah, you've driven the ball down the field. Things are looking up. But it takes just one bad decision to throw things off the rails. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Glad to have you with us from Minneapolis. Third quarter here, second and 10. They run the counter with Cook. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Third down, Dalvin Cook. And he'll only get this to about the 35. Well short of the line to gain. They'll run for it. Cook. And he won't get there. They stop him a few yards short of the line to gain. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the Chargers will get the football back in excellent field position. Running on first down, Eckler. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Here's Herbert. That's complete to Austin Eckler, the running back. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Heavy set out there on third and one. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. And he's going to run into a brick wall right in the middle of the field. And I don't think he got there. They snap it to Herbert. Buying time to his left. And a quick shuffle pass here is complete. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. And that's a big pickup of a first down. And you know that all week, both sides of the ball, offense and defense, are going through every situation. And in this case, the offensive guys had the right play dialed up because defensively, you work on fourth down situations as well. And deflating for the defense, they can't get the stop here. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Once more, here's Eckler. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Another two-yard gain there, but they'll need to do better this time. It's third and six. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. Flushed out right. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. Justin Herbert taking it in from 11 yards out. And the Chargers have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead now up to 14. the score. Chargers 28. Vikings 14. The kick unit on here for the Chargers as they will send this one away. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Vikings take over first and 10 at their own 30-yard line. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. Well, Charles, you remember their last drive. They went for it on fourth down, didn't get it. But you understand why they did in this close game late. Now, though, the road back is even tougher. Yeah, no doubt about it. And it was fair to look back and say the fourth down was a moment where this one was decided. But as you mentioned, it's understandable about why they went for it. But, hey, a lot of credit to the guys on the defenses. In a heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Asante Samuel, Jr. And the Chargers are going to take over. 